It's got a nice round today. Just walk us through it. What uh, got off to a good start? What was working out there, and uh, how did you keep it rolling? Just uh, drove it really well to start off with, and then um, was able to hit some hit, hit it ball close with some irons, and you know capitalize on the putting. Um, kind of a momentum carrying over from last week a little bit on Sunday's round. Started to see some putts go in. It's carried over this week a little bit. So did you change anything, work on anything between yesterday's round and today's round that was different? Not really. Um, been working with my putting coach, Timmy Overton, really hard um, on reading greens a little better. Um, I've always kind of been just use my imagination and kind of fill out the putt guy. And I've been really using a line on the ball the last few weeks um, and trying to read the greens just a hair better, a little more accurately. So um, just seeing the line well right now. What? How did the course play with the conditions? Most of your round was wet. How was it out there? It, it is wet. And it's, it's playing longer today than it's played the last couple of days. Obviously, the ball was real, bouncing pretty good in the fairways. Um, not so much today so um i know you'll probably see some birdies but i've had had some longer clubs in that i wasn't used to so in that case it's probably playing a little harder to get it close i know it's been a couple of years since you won how motivated how hungry are you to put a full weekend together obviously i mean that's what we play for but um you know at this point my fedex cup position i kind of need to win so it kind of frees me up in a way it, I have one goal and to come in here and win. So, thanks, Scott. Scott, we, excuse me. Sorry. we've seen a couple of epic playoffs uh, the last two weeks. Um, not a lot of separation out here today. Um, what's it going to? Uh, how, how do you separate yourself from that, from the bunch? Uh, and what's the mindset tomorrow? Just birdie, birdie, birdie. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you're going to have to make a bunch of birdies again, especially. We we'll get some more rain overnight, soften it up. You're gonna have to be in attack mode here. Typically, you know, it's at least 20 under par or a little more. So, you know, for me, that's another seven for tomorrow if you look at it that way. You're familiar with this golf course. There's been a lot of, a lot of volatility on, on this back nine stretch. What, what about the, the this particular, um, this design and the way these holes set up, um, creates those kind of really. Uh, Exciting finishes on Sundays. I think it's awesome that you got a drywall par four coming in and kind of a short par three, a reachable par five, and then 18's a pretty tough hole, um, depending on where your tee shot goes. So I think that's what creates the excitement. Some of the some of the holes that, that, that tend to play easy in the course of a week uh, have been bogey holes um, for, for content people coming down the stretch near the lead um, on Sundays here. Um, do they does just is, the, is it just the uh, pressure a little bit? Do you think that, that I, I would think it definitely plays a role. Um, you know, I mean, t typically the last hole on a golf course is arguably the toughest hole coming in most of the time. Um, I think a little bit of that, a little bit of pressure. I'm going to test your memory with this question: Was today your best round on this golf course? No. Do you remember what was? 61. In which round? Third round. What is it about you and Saturdays here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. I wish I knew. Yeah, that was my question. Seven years ago that took place. Does that feel like an eternity? And are the memories kind of popping into your head right now based on your performance today? Yeah, I mean, I was, kind of, I was thinking about that today a little bit, um, but it does feel like a long time ago. Um, but I was just trying to keep it going today just trying to make a bunch of birdies, and I kept pressing myself to keep making birdies, keep making birdies. It's a game about perseverance, isn't it? I mean, every week's different, but, you know, today was just the way it fell into place. you got to feel great. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's uh, it's been a tough year, but, you know, just I've been trying to stay positive. i got a good team around me saying just keep doing what you're doing, you know, obviously the talk. Um, but you just never know when it's your time. Thanks.